Hello everyone. In this video I'm going to look at graphing the modulus of a complex number. For example, I'm going to say graph the modulus of 3 minus 9i. To find the modulus, I first need to know what my a and b are. In this case, 3 is my a and negative 9 is my b because they're in complex form, a plus bi. The modulus formula tells me to get it, I'll take the square root of a squared plus b squared. I'll simplify and I'll get 9 plus 81. So I have the square root of 90. And I want to break it down. So this becomes the square root of 9, square root of 10. So my modulus is 3 square root of 10. Now I'm asked to graph that. I'm saying graph 3 squared of 10 as it relates to a modulus. So that means on my complex graph, I'm essentially graphing 3 minus 9i, except I'm specific, specifically looking at the distance. So 3 over and 9 down, and I'm not drawing to scale, but I'd make my point, and then the modulus being this distance is my graph. Now one of the other things we could be asked to graph is a set of numbers. This one just asks for the specific modulus, so it's a single point with my line. I'm asked to graph sets of numbers such as this. The first one asks me to graph the set of all numbers z such that z is the square root of 21. z referring to our modulus. Whereas before, we put the square root of 21 in the proper quadrant. Here we're not given a specified quadrant. We don't know what the original complex number was. Now since it's asking for a set for all z, that means for any set of complex numbers that has a distance, a modulus of the square, square root of 21. Let's just say it's right there. So that's the distance. So it could be in quadrant 1, it could be over here in quadrant 2 as a distance, square root of 21. So there's an infinite number of possibilities, which means this represents a circle with a radius now of the square root of 21. Same with the second graph. All values are z such that z is 10. That means any complex number with a distance of 10. And since there'd be an infinite number, we have a circle with radius 10. And that's what we'd be looking to graph. One last variation is if I'm asked to graph an inequality. Same deal. I'll mark out 5. Now here I need to pay attention to is it a is it a greater than or equal to or just greater than? Or more in general, does it have an equal to sign? If it does, then I will draw a solid line at a distance of 5. So I have a solid line at a distance of 5. Now if it was greater than but not equal to, it would be a dashed line. And since it's referring to everything larger than 5, so it's saying all values of z that are bigger than 5 or equal to, that means everything outside of this. So that means we have to shade in everything outside of here. All that is our answer. And if it had been less than, we'd shade inside the circle. 